Hey friends, thanks for joining me for prayer today. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever feel like the bad guys are winning at every level? I mean, just look in our country. It doesn't matter if we're looking at the economy. Why are crazy people spending your wealth, your children's wealth, your grandchildren's wealth, generations to come? It's crazy. The bad guys are getting away with murder. And then you, then you look in the judicial system and how laws are being developed that actually attack Christians and the, the, the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, the freedom to assemble. Man, it's, 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 it's overwhelming. You look at the immorality of our day and how it's celebrated, 145 days of immoral celebration now uh, here in the United States. It, it, it's incomprehensible. And I don't know about you, so often I feel overwhelmed, and, and I know you do because many of you reach out to me. Uh, you see me at church, you reach out online, and you say, Pastor Mark, what in the world's going on? What's, what's going to happen? How come the bad guys are getting away with so much evil, and it's like we can't even stop it. Friends, I want you to remember this. God is in control, and there's a proverb uh, that I want to read to you, Proverbs 11, 21, and, I, and it, it helps me process all of the emotions of this, because I think about not just what I have to live with, and not what just my wife, Jera has to live with, but our children, our grandchildren, and now some of our grandchildren are starting to get older, and it's going to be a time when they have children if Jesus doesn't come soon, and so Man, how do, we, how do we cope with all this emotion? Listen to these words. This is a general principle. Now, we can find commands about it. We can have declarations about it in other portions of Scripture. But just listen to this. This helps me. I pray it'll help you. Proverbs 11 and verse 21. Assuredly, in other words, this is the way it is, right? Assuredly, the evil man will not go unpunished. When you see evil unfolding, maybe it's in your local government. Maybe it's at the school board meetings. Maybe it's, maybe it's the workplace, Maybe it's in the company that you own. Maybe it's one of the companies that's a provider for you. Listen, the unrighteous, the evil person will not go unpunished. But the descendants, listen to this, the descendants of the righteous will be delivered. I may not be able to control the things that are happening out there, but what I can control is this, what I do. And the principle is this, that a godly person making godly decisions, whatever else happens in the world, not only will God rescue them, but the descendants after them will find God's blessing. Think about Noah. He's told, you know, um, the thoughts of man's heart are only evil continuously. And God says they got 120 years, and that's, there's a day appointed for, for judgment. It's coming. So for 120 years, Noah builds the ark. He tells people, he's told, uh, told to us to be a, a man of righteousness who preached righteousness for those 120 years. And then it says, God tells him to get in the ark. And who goes in the ark with him? His descendants. Listen, God rescued them. God can rescue not only you, but your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. God knows how to do it. Let's just be righteous and honor him, whatever else happens in the news, whatever else happens in America, whatever else happens in the world. We can trust God. Father, we're thankful for this great passage that describes this spiritual truth that you will deal with evil people. And those who have the righteousness of Christ, have trusted in Jesus, and those who walk in righteousness, not only will you deliver them, but you'll deliver their descendants. God, thank you for watching out for us. Thank you for watching out for our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. God, we love you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, friends, let me just read to you Proverbs eleven twenty one. if you're just joining us. Assuredly, the evil man will not go unpunished. There is a God in heaven. But the descendants of the righteous will be delivered. Friends, hold on to Jesus. Hold on to his promise. Hold on to his presence. He's going to carry us through.